Hi, Grandma Rhoda. Hi, Mrs. Sullivan. How are you? I am very good, but I am so ready to tell this story with you. Oh, yes. I will gladly help. I get to play the part of the old lady, and maybe the mother, too. Is that okay? That would be perfect. I would love that. All right, let's go. Okay. This story is called Diamonds and Toads. There were two sisters, and they were very different sisters. The younger one was polite and kind and always did her chores. The older one, she was very impolite. She never had kind words. She grumbled about everything. And mother liked her the best because mother was very, very much like her. And we tend to like people that we are like. Well, it was the job of the younger sister to go to the well and get water every day. And she had to go twice a day. And it was a long ways, two whole miles. Yeah, long, long ways. But she didn't mind because she got to go into the woods, through the path, and see all the animals. And she got to be away from Fran. Well, one day when she got to the well, there was an old woman sitting at the well. And the old woman said to her, could I have a drink of water, please? Well, of course, the younger sister, being kind, gave the old woman a drink of water. And the old woman said to her, you are a very polite little girl. I think I should give you a gift. When you get home today, you will have one. Well, what the little girl did not know is that the old woman was really a fairy who had disguised herself as an old woman to see if she could find kind people. And she had, and she gave the young girl a gift. Well, when the little girl got home that day, the mother was there and she was very angry and she said, What have you been doing today? You took way too long at the well. You naughty little girl, you were playing again, weren't you? Well, the little girl said, Oh no, mother, I was not. But the mother screamed, what is that? What is the meaning of this? Because out of the little girl's mouth when she spoke came diamonds and pearls and beautiful flowers. <gasps> and the mother was so surprised. And the little girl proceeded to tell the mother all that had happened and and that there was an old woman at the well and, and that she'd given her a drink of water and said that she would be have a present and this must be the present. And <gasps> the old mother, ah, uh, she wanted her little Franny to have that present. So she called to her upstairs and she said, Franny, come down here. Well, Franny, being her old self, said, I'm playing and I don't want to come down. And mother said, you come down here right now and see the lovely gift your sister got at the well. Well, Franny finally decided to come down. And when she did, she saw all the diamonds and pearls and beautiful flowers laying on the floor from when the little sister had been talking. And the mother said, now you get a pitcher and you go to the well and get some water, and give the old woman a drink, and she will give you a present. Franny said, No, it's not my job to go to the well. I don't want to. That's, that's her job. You need the present, too. I do not. I can just take her jewels and, and pearls and flowers. I don't need to get my own. She's not going to use those presents anyway. No, you need your own gift. Now 
get out there and go to the well and give that old woman a drink of water. Well, Granny finally decided that she would go to the well. And on the way, she grumbled the whole way. Oh, she was so mad. And when she got to the well, there was no old woman. And she said, oh, great. Here I walked this whole way, and there is no old lady to give a drink to. I wonder where she's at. Well, she didn't have to wait very long. But it was not an old woman that came. It was a beautiful princess. But Franny didn't know that the beautiful princess was really the fairy who had now disguised herself as a beautiful princess. And when the princess asked Franny for a drink of water, Franny said, No, get your own drink of water. You're young enough. I'm here waiting for the old woman to give a drink to. Oh, the princess said, you're not very polite, and you don't use nice voice. You are very, very rude. I think I need to give you a gift. When you get home today, you will have one. Well, Franny was mad the whole way home because she had not met the old woman but a beautiful princess. And when she got home, Mother was very excited, and she says, Oh, Franny, my dear, did you get the gift? And Franny said, Yes, I did. And Mother screamed, Ah! What is the meaning of this? What have you done? Because out of Franny's mouth came ugly snakes and toads. Because she didn't use nice words, not nice things came out of her mouth. And from that day on, nobody ever wanted to talk to Franny because of all the ugly things that came around. But everybody loved to talk to her little sister because beautiful, beautiful words came out of her mouth that were just like diamonds and and that's the story of diamonds and toads. And so be sure that you always use diamond words because then everyone will want to visit and talk with you. Don't use those nasty voice tones and icky words. And do your jobs. I agree. Diamond and pearl words are wonderful. They make everybody feel well. Snake and toad words never do any good. Bye. Bye. See you next time. <laughs>